Stunning Capture of the Andromeda Galaxy by Peter Forrester He caught the galaxy early in the morning on July 14, 2021, and wrote, This was my first opportunity to photograph the Andromeda Galaxy in 2021. I set up my equipment at 3.30 a.m. on my front porch in Charlottesville, Virginia. Thank you for sharing with us, Peter. But who or what is Andromeda? According to the Ethiopian manuscripts and other ancient records, which contains the names and history of the kings who reigned in Ethiopia, Cassiopeia was the queen who ruled Ethiopia after Aknahas Saba and Nekti Kalenso. Her reign was 19 years and her era was 1890-1871 BC, this intelligent Ethiopian queen Cassiopeia, who ruled the great country of Ethiopia for 19 years, along with her husband, King Cepheus, and her beautiful daughter, Princess Andromeda, had the ability to explore space and marvel at nature. These Ethiopians thought that the name of the royal family should not be left on the earth. Being very fascinated by nature, Instead, they carefully noticed the stars that were shining in the sky, making different shapes in the night sky, like pearls. Instead, their mother, Queen Cassiopeia, is said to have been very intelligent. Their fame reached as far as Greece, so the Greeks were amazed by the royal families of Ethiopia and told many mythologies about them. They named three of the constellations they were looking at, King Cepheus, Queen Cassiopeia, and Princess Andromeda. Thus, in the history of the world, they named the constellations by their names and allowed them to become the royal families who introduced the country to astronomy. This story is known not only in Ethiopia, but also by the ancient Greeks, who reached a great level in astronomy, and the scientific study of astronomy even today. Of the 48 constellations recorded by the 2nd century Greek astronomer Ptolemy, three were named after Cassiopeia, Cepheus and Andromeda. This is an undeniable truth of the great and great work that Ethiopia has done by naming the stars. The International Astronomical Union, which is made up of many researchers and the best scientists, has named three of the 88 constellations in the name of Queen Cassiopeia, King Cepheus, and Princess Andromeda. Just like that, the galaxy is named after the Ethiopian Princess Andromeda. In Greek mythology, Andromeda is the daughter of Cepheus and Cassiopeia, king and queen of ancient Ethiopia. Her mother Cassiopeia foolishly boasts that she is more beautiful than the Nereids, a display of hubris by a human that is unacceptable to the gods. To punish the queen for her arrogance, Poseidon floods the Ethiopian coast and sends a sea monster named Cetus to ravage the kingdom's inhabitants. In desperation, King Cepheus consults the oracle of Ammon, who announces that no respite can be found until the king sacrifices his daughter, Andromeda, to the monster. She is thus chained to a rock by the sea to await her death. Perseus is just then flying near the coast of Ethiopia on his winged sandals, having slain the Gorgon Medusa and carrying her severed head, which instantly turns to stone any who look at it. Upon seeing Andromeda bound to the rock, Perseus falls in love with her, and he secures Cepheus' promise of her hand in marriage if he can save her. Perseus kills the monster with the magical sword he had used against Medusa. Preparations are then made for their marriage, in spite of her having been previously promised to her uncle, Phineas. At the wedding, a quarrel between the rivals ends when Perseus shows Medusa's head to Phineas and his allies, turning them to stone. Andromeda follows her husband to his native island of Seraphos, where he rescues his mother, Danae. They next go to Argos, where Perseus is the rightful heir to the throne. However, after accidentally killing Argos' king, his grandfather, Acrisius, Perseus chooses to become king of neighboring Tyrans instead. Perseus and Andromeda have seven sons, Perses, who, according to folk etymology, is the ancestor of the Persians, Alcaeus, Helius, Mester, Stenilus, Electrion, and Senurus as well as two daughters, Autokth and Gorgophon. Their descendants rule Mycenae from Electrion down to Eurystheus, after whom Atreus attains the kingdom. The great hero Heracles, Hercules in Roman mythology, is also a descendant, his mother Alcmene being Electrion's daughter, while, like his grandfather Perseus, his father is the god Zeus, the goddess Athena, or her Roman version Minerva, 
places Andromeda in the northern sky at her death as the constellation Andromeda, along with Perseus and her parents Cepheus and Cassiopeia. In commemoration of Perseus' bravery in fighting the sea monster Cetus, the large spiral galaxy next door, although several dozen minor galaxies lie closer to our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy is the closest large spiral galaxy to ours. Excluding the large and small Magellanic Clouds, visible from Earth's southern hemisphere, the Andromeda Galaxy is the brightest external galaxy you can see. At 2.5 million light-years, it's the most distant thing most of us humans can see with the unaided eye. The large spiral Triangulum Galaxy is slightly more distant at 2.7 million light-years. Like the Andromeda Galaxy, it's a member of our local group of galaxies. And it's sometimes said to be visible to the eye also. But it's turned face on to us, and so has a low surface brightness. Unlike the Andromeda Galaxy, it's very hard to see. Astronomers sometimes call the Andromeda Galaxy by the name Messier 31, or M31. It was the 31st on a famous list of fuzzy objects compiled by the French astronomer Charles Messier, 1730-1817. His catalogue listed objects to avoid when comet hunting. Nowadays, amateur astronomers seek out these objects with their telescopes and binoculars. They're some of most beautiful deep sky objects known. Most Messier objects are star clusters or gas clouds in our Milky Way galaxy. But the Andromeda Galaxy is a whole separate galaxy. Even bigger than our Milky Way. In a dark sky, you can see that it's big on the sky as well, a smudge of distant light larger than a full moon, Randy Shedder in California, captured this photo of Andromeda on August 7, 2021. See the galaxy in the upper right? Randy wrote, I was at Fraser Park, far from the lights of Los Angeles and with an elevation of 8,000 feet, 2440 m, and was able to see the Andromeda Galaxy, M31. At 2.5 million light years from Earth, it is the nearest galaxy to our Milky Way. Thank you, Randy, meteors in the same field of view as the Andromeda Galaxy. Omid Gadardin in Iran, caught the scene on August 11, 2019, and wrote, What can I say? Wonders of the Universe. Just compare the golf ball-sized meteors with the galaxy bigger than ours. Thank you, Omid, when to look for it, from mid-northern latitudes, you can see Andromeda, M31, for at least part of every night, all year long. But most people see the galaxy first around August or September, when it's high enough in the sky to be seen from evening until daybreak. In late August and early September, begin looking for the galaxy in mid-evening about midway between your local nightfall and midnight, in late September and early October, the Andromeda Galaxy shines in your eastern sky at nightfall, swings high overhead in the middle of the night and stands rather high in the west at the onset of morning dawn. Winter evenings are also good for viewing the Andromeda Galaxy, if you are far from city lights and you're stargazing during a moonless night late at summer, autumn or winter, it's possible that you'll simply notice the galaxy there in your night sky. But if you don't manage to easily see it, you can starhop to find the galaxy in one of two ways. The easiest way is to use the constellation Cassiopeia the Queen. You can also use the Great Square of Pegasus, star chart of constellations Cassiopeia and Andromeda with labeled Andromeda Galaxy between them. Here's the technique most people use to find the Andromeda Galaxy. Just be sure you're looking in a dark sky. Look northward for the M or W-shaped constellation Cassiopeia the Queen. Now locate the star Skeeter in Cassiopeia. It's the constellation's brightest star, and it points to the Andromeda Galaxy. If you can recognize the North Star. Polaris, and if you know how to find the Big Dipper, be aware that the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia move around Polaris like the hands of a clock, always opposite each other. Once you've found Cassiopeia, look for its star Skeeter. In the illustration above, see how Skeeter points to the Andromeda Galaxy, you can also starhop to the Andromeda Galaxy, using the Great Square of Pegasus. It's a longer route, but, in many ways, it's more beautiful, 
star chart with great square and Andromeda constellation outlined and Andromeda galaxy marked. Here's another way to find the Andromeda galaxy. The constellation Andromeda can be seen as two streams of stars extending from one side of the great square of Pegasus. See the star Alpharats? It joins Pegasus to Andromeda and now notice the star Miric, then Mu Andromedae. An imaginary line drawn through Miric to Mu points to the Andromeda galaxy. You'll be hopping to the Andromeda galaxy from the great square of Pegasus. In autumn, the great square of Pegasus looks like a great big baseball diamond in the eastern sky. Envision the bottom star of the square's four stars as home plate, then draw an imaginary line from the first base star though the third base star to locate two streamers of stars flying away from the great square. These stars belong to the constellation Andromeda the Princess, on each streamer, go two stars north, left, of the third base star. Locating the stars Miric and Mu Andromedae. Draw a line from Miric through Mu Andromedae, going twice the Miric slash Mu Andromedae distance. You've just landed on the Andromeda galaxy, which looks like a smudge of light to the unaided eye, if you can't see the Andromeda galaxy with the eye alone, by all means use binoculars, black and white detailed view of galaxy with its spiral pattern and satellite galaxies visible. The Great Andromeda Nebula, photographed in the year 1900. At this point, astronomers couldn't discern individual stars in the galaxy. Many thought this object was a cloud of gas within our Milky Way, a place where new stars were forming. History of our knowledge of the Andromeda Galaxy, at one time, the Andromeda Galaxy was called the Great Andromeda Nebula. Astronomers thought this patch of light was composed of glowing gases, or was perhaps a solar system in the process of formation, it wasn't until the 20th century that astronomers were able to resolve the Andromeda Spiral Nebula into individual stars. This discovery led to a controversy about whether the Andromeda Spiral Nebula and other spiral nebulae lie within or outside the Milky Way, in the 1920s Edwin Hubble finally put the matter to rest, when he used Cepheid variable stars within the Andromeda galaxy to determine that it is indeed an island universe residing beyond the bounds of our Milky Way galaxy. Artists' illustration of the local group showing multiple galaxies with Andromeda and Milky Way being the largest, the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies reign as the two most massive and dominant galaxies within the local group of galaxies. The Andromeda Galaxy is the largest galaxy of the local group, which, in addition to the Milky Way, also contains the Triangulum Galaxy and about 30 other smaller galaxies. Both the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxies lay claim to about a dozen satellite galaxies. Both are some 100,000 light years across, containing enough mass to make billions of stars. Astronomers have discovered that our local group is on the outskirts of a giant cluster of several thousand galaxies, which astronomers call the Virgo Cluster. We also know of an irregular supercluster of galaxies, which contains the Virgo Cluster, which in turn contains our local group, which in turn contains our Milky Way galaxy and the nearby Andromeda galaxy. At least 100 galaxy groups and clusters are located within this Virgo supercluster. Its diameter is thought to be about 110 million light years. The Virgo supercluster is thought to be one of millions of superclusters in the observable universe. Will the Andromeda galaxy collide with the Milky Way? Definite possibility describes much of what we know, or think we know, about the universe. As for the Andromeda galaxy and its future collision with our Milky Way, the first attempt to measure the radial velocity of this galaxy, its motion forward or back, along our line of sight, was made in 1912. After that, astronomers believed for some decades that the galaxy was approaching at nearly 200 miles per second, 300 kilometers per second, but later astronomers disagreed. Then in May 2012, NASA astronomers announced they can now predict the time of this collision of Titan galaxies with certainty. Remember, though, that the Andromeda galaxy is 2.2 million light years away, with a single light year being almost 10 trillion kilometers, 6 trillion miles. So although it does appear that this galaxy is approaching our Milky Way galaxy, it's nothing to lose sleep over. When will they collide?
According to NASA astronomers in 2012, it'll be 4 billion years from now. Plus when galaxies collide, they don't exactly crash into each other. Because there's so much more space than stars even in a galaxy, colliding galaxies pass through each other, like ghosts, but, colliding galaxies do interact via gravity, which will cause them to change shape and even merge into a larger galaxy.